Hi, in today's video I'm going to be fixing my Xbox One X. The problem I'm having is the HDMI port is not providing a signal that my projector or even two TVs will recognize. It was a little intermittent at first and I could get it to work a little bit but it would mostly kind of flicker out and it uh, now it just doesn't work at all. So doing a little bit of research I find out that either the port can be bad or there's a chip inside called the HDMI retimer chip that can be replaced actually. You can do it yourself. The chip is only like 10 to $15. Um, but there's actually a service on eBay. A person is installing them for $45 and shipping it back. So I will ship it into this person. They will fix it, um, pr produce the part, put it in, and ship it back to me. So I think that's a heck of a value. Um, I, I've seen it done on the internet. I don't think it's extremely hard. You just heat the chip up and you put the new one on and you brush some solder on it and kind of wipe it off and you have to have some flux and you have to have a, uh, a hot air pen type of a deal. I think you can get like cheap ones for about $35 but I think a really nice one might be more like $200 or so. Uh, I haven't really priced the nicer ones but I'm sure one that you would want to have is uh, quite a bit more expensive than the little disposable types but uh, they, they might work fine you know hot air is hot air so but I thought you know for for what they're charging is $45 I can't really lose especially if someone's doing it that has experience so just looking at the port I really think that it's fine I didn't really move it around much I plugged it in like day one and it sat there and I didn't really move it around so uh, it got a little bit warm on it was on top of the PS4 Pro and we did have some static around here So it could have been something I did possibly or it just could be uh, a Manufacturing defect or design defect or something like that. I don't know, but either way uh, This is the boat I'm in so I'm just gonna start paddling and I'm gonna send this in So I'm gonna get on eBay right now and buy it now and put this in a package and send it out Okay, so here we are back. I have my Xbox One X back. It was in the mail for about six days. I got a notification on Saturday that it was done, and on Tuesday I received it back. So total turnaround about six days. Um, the package was a little bit wet. It was drizzling that day, and uh, it took me an hour before I went out there because I got a notification on my phone that the mail had ran and that this was done and on my porch, so I ran out there and got it, but it was wet. So I put it on a fan and I dried it off. It's been about, I don't know, six or eight hours that it's been drying. So I think it's going to be okay. Um, the package had this little dent in it. Maybe somebody wanted to see what was inside and fingered it or something. But you can see there's an Xbox Play as Day right there and some packing peanuts. Without further ado, here we go. We're going to open the package. I like to use a razor blade. And there it is. Get a nice letter. This is just a packing slip from eBay. Pretty standard. Packing peanuts. Ah, that's a little bit. Uh, could probably do a little bit better on that, but the price is so inexpensive. It's hard to complain about anything that happened. So that's the shipping box that you get. Some packing. You saw how I shipped it out. There was plenty of foam there, and it was covered in plastic so that it was protected from water. So I think I did a better job shipping. I gotta say, if there's any improvement a person could do, it could be on shipping. Um, but the person fixed my console and I don't know exactly how much profit was involved, so I really can't complain. And I had nothing to lose. So from here, I'm gonna plug it in and see it work. It 
it is totally working and that's new to me because it did not work I used it on the projector I used it on this TV um, my 4k TV is down actually it needs a part so uh, but um, this is definitely working it was not working before the HDMI signal did not show so this is nice so I just put in my information for my network and for some reason it forgot my network it's not showing my games right now I don't know why it shows that the hard drive is full and now it's asking for an update so I got back on the network I put my network information back in and now I'm updating okay so after the update all my games are back for some reason it said no games and it had apps but as you can see I have a full hard drive most of this is off of game pass so if you're looking at game pass you can get one of these Xboxes uh, for about 250 bucks right now and you get you know Destiny, Devil May Cry, F1 2018, Fallout 4, Forza Horizon 4, Gears 5, Hello Neighbor, you know some kids games, here's Metro Exodus, Minecraft is big with the kids, Outer Worlds, Plague Tale, these are all on Game Pass. Now I bought Project Cars 2, that was like nine dollars, Witcher 3 was on Game Pass, TT Isle of Man now is on Game Pass World War Z, Roblox was free, Snake Pass is free, so almost all of these are free. I think I only bought Anthem. Destiny is free, so that's quite a lineup for $10 a month. You can really always keep something fresh and something fun, unless you're really deep into games. If you're just, you know, kind of mildly into games, you want to play here and there on the weekend, it's more like Netflix than uh, really a serious hobby but just something that you enjoy keeping up with a little bit this is an excellent good value now remember that the um, HDMI retimer chip can go bad so if you buy one you may end up having to fix it just like this but if you're watching this video you probably already have one you want to know if it fixed it so far I'm seeing that it did this is a 1080p screen so now I'm going to switch to the 4k screen okay so I got this thing going again on the 4k screen here I just kind of showed you for size my door I'm kind of proud of it but also there's kind of like a, a wash of light so it kind of explains that but the narrator is on I just turned it on I have the Xbox plugged into my stereo and the stereo setting is PC but that allows it's basically auxiliary and um, the narrator is on and I think it was like this when I first bought the Xbox Narrator options, button, one of five, input learning mode on checkbox unchecked. So you can hear it. Look, controller shortcuts, button. But I should be able to hit this button right here. Screen reader that reads text, but exiting narrator. So the narrator's off now. If I remember correctly, the Xbox came with the narrator on, oddly. So one more thing I can do to check that um, can go in here TV and display now it says 1080p resolution so that's not going to be enough I'm gonna have to go 4k now these projectors can be a little bit finicky if you have one okay so it says 3840 by 2160 keep this resolution you definitely so now I have it. Now it can be a little bit finicky because it's such a high uh, bandwidth. So if you have this and it's and you have a projector and it's kind of uh, in and out, depending on static electricity and things like that, you can get a optical HDMI cable that's an active cable, and it will encode the information onto fiber optic, and then it will decode it on the other side. So there's no copper going between everything and so that they're isolated and so um, that's what I'm gonna have to do they're about 80 bucks but um, if you go more than five feet or so maybe you're going 10 or 15 if you have any kind of static or any kind of uh, five gigahertz going on any kind of um, interference that you could possibly pin it down to it will cause problems and especially static electricity if you have a microfiber couch and you get up all of a sudden it'll go black screen for like three seconds so um, that's it. It seems to work fine. Okay, so here we have the Isle of Man TT. Seems to be working pretty good. Not having any drops on the HDMI. So 
Well, I would say this was definitely a good fix for the HDMI retimer chip. Little tap of the brakes turns all those red ones green. You have to know the track in this game, though. Like, seriously. It's kind of fun memorizing the track that these guys uh, spend their life thinking about. There'd be a left up here. Oh, 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 boom, what a bend. All right, so if you're having a problem with your Xbox, I hope this video helped you. I definitely recommend sending it out to this person. It's only $45 for the HDMI retimer chip. If you need the port, the HDMI port replaced, they'll do that for another $15. So there's two listings, one's for $45, one's for $60. If you just want to have them all replaced for $60, I don't blame you. They'll do it for $60, so there's actually two listings. I'll leave a link in the description to these listings and also to the general store where I bought the service on eBay to have my HDMI retimer chip replaced. Um, other than that, I guess I have a lot of video games to play. If you'd like to, you can shop at my eBay store, GB Hatchery. I sell a lot on eBay, uh, a lot of used items, but they're excellent value and they can help uh, free up some funds. So there's that. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, other than that, I guess that concludes this video. Um, if you'd like, leave a like and subscribe and check out what I'm doing here and there. You can stop in. I'm always doing something fun. Thanks for watching the video and you'll see me in the next one.